Good morning, Orlando. This is Alan Maycumber from here, Sotheby's here in Lake Nona. And as you know, we're continuing our series basically on Lake Nona and the people that live in Lake Nona and what they do for Lake Nona and what they do in Lake Nona, which is really interesting. And you know, a couple of weeks back, we had Juan Rodriguez in here with Orlando Flight School. And again, he was a client of mine, Ryan's a client of mine, and I, I like to really focus on people, not only that work and live in Lake Nona, but they promote Lake Nona and they help the community. So this is Mr. Ryan Wilkerson. He is an airline pilot, I do believe, with uh, Allegiant, yes, correct? correct? Allegiant Airlines. And I really wanted to get him on today and, and ask him questions that really pertain to his career because he did it a little differently than a lot of people do it. He's doing it the same way my son's doing it, which they call civil aviation. So he's doing it on his own, not through the military. And so I wanted to kind of ask him at this point, really, Ryan, kind of give us the ins and outs of what you did, and then tell us what the pros and cons of an airline pilot life is like. And really, what, what's fun about it, what's not fun about it? Well, Alan, um, you brought up a couple of uh, interesting points there, like the, the civil side versus the military side, um, which you will have, um, you know, if you go into ROTC, of course, all your, your ratings will be paid for in the military, and you'll have a commission, and after 10 years, you can get out and go to the airlines, and we have some um, military personnel come over from to the civil side after they've done their career in the military. My way... Um, uh, the way I went in was actually through OSU, Oklahoma State University, and I got all my ratings there while I was attending college uh, with the aviation management uh, major, and I minored in um, business administration. So that if something should happen with a medical or something that some of you pilots may want to consider, that make sure you're medical because your your whole career hinges on your medical. You have high blood pressure, hypertension, something like this that knocks you out. You have nothing to kind of rely on. So I took that aviation management and used the, the professional pilot kind of as a backup. But um, on the question of, you know, why I took the, the college route, um, I just said at the point I didn't want to do the military thing. And um, I knew that I can go and have the college experience, which I think a lot of you guys really, uh, that those of you guys who are entering college it will really enjoy. It gives you a nice rounded experience. Um, um, and, and I got all my ratings while I was in college, became a flight instructor. And uh, went, I mean, he said the long way, the, the civil way. Um, so, you know, the typical, typical, uh, I guess, um, um, line of flying, coming out from college, you get your CFI, but you don't have any students. So you can either start teaching at the school uh, that you were currently uh, going to, or you can go fly for, Sorry about that. No worries. I uh, started flying cargo, and then from cargo, <coughs> I got on with the regionals, and from the regionals, I applied to uh, the airlines and got on with the airlines. Okay, so um, when you were going through college, how long did it take you to do the civil route when you were flight instructing? Uh, when did you start flying? Um, okay. All that. Okay, I started in 91, uh, so I've been in aviation for 30 years. So I started in 91. Um, it took me approximately to be in the right seat of a commercial airliner uh, approximately 10 years okay that's about right so if you look at what my son's going through you know he's he's right now going on his sixth year and he is just now getting to the point where he can get on with a commuter absolutely uh, and then build some hours with a commuter airline and then go on with the major airlines such as what you do. Now, are you a left seat or right seat at this point? I'm left seat. You're left seat. You're a captain. Mm -hmm. So a captain and a second officer, give us a little details on what the difference is. Well, a captain and a first officer, um, <coughs> well, typically the first officer uh, assists the captain. The captain, but nowadays we have we call them flying pilot and non-flying pilot. So you're still part of the crew, but your FO as your first officer is is pretty much qualified as the captain is. The only difference is I make the final decision on what happens in the plane. So I take Alan say if he's my first officer, Alan would say, um, well, I think we should do I, I I think we should do something like this. 
And I can take his input and go, well, I like that idea, so we'll go ahead and do that. I don't see any uh, it's safety to flight. And is it legal? Sure. Alan's perspective, he's building time, he's building experience so that he can sit over here and make good decisions. So I won't hinder that. But if Alan thinks or says something that, hey, I think we should do it this way, I may interject and say, well, this is why I think we should do it this way. And give him a little background so he goes, oh, wow, that's, that's a better way and I understand that and uh, well, okay. it, it comes down then to experience of Absolutely. what you've been through when you're flying. Right. As a as a pilot myself, way back, I mean, my son came to me at one point, and it was funny because I got into the plane with him. I said, okay, we're going to fly up to Georgia. And, you know, when we were flying or when I was training back when I was doing it, we had paper maps. We had to roll out the maps, and we had to measure with the instruments and show where we're going. And now everything is electronic. It's, it's amazing. Absolutely. It's like a video game in Absolutely. some sense. And uh, so it's a big difference. You have to be technically, uh, I, I guess, much savvy. more savvy than you did back then. Back then was more mathematical equations and how much fuel on board and so forth. Now it's kind of done for you. Yes, a, a lot of it is done for you, but that basis that you learn with Alan is still paramount because if anything should change, uh, electronics go out, you still have to be able to back up to what you used to do. And we still use our flight computers and our maps. You have them. Um, you don't want to rely too much on technology. Uh, so, you know. That's a good point because I yeah. tell my son that all the time. You know, I yeah. said, do you know how to work, use a map? He says, well, I've got them in my deal and well, I've been trained on them, but I don't use them. And I said, well, yeah. it might be good for you once in a while just to pull them out yeah. and kind of play with them so you have them because you never know when something's going to happen. You don't, and you, you don't want to be stuck in the dark, and yeah. literally and figuratively, uh, where exactly. something goes out and you, you're not sure where you're at. You never want to be in a plane. My, my brother flies with American. He's with him them 17 years. My dad flew with American for 29 years. Oh, really? So we're, we're, we're kind of a flying family. And when my son took off and said, this is what I want to do, I was like, okay, this is awesome. So uh, tell us a little bit about the pros and cons. The pros and cons of uh, my job. Well, let me let me tell you about Allegiant. Allegiant is uh, a special company, not just because I work there, but we don't have any overnights for the most part. Ninety nine percent of our flights are all going to come back home. They're going to originate from our base and end back at the base. So, um, Delta, American, any other airline in the world, the pilot typically goes from his base, his home base, and flies legs, which is from one point to a new destination and new, that new destination is somewhere else they overnight at that place and then the next day they start from that place and they kind of hop around for three days maybe four days wow. well Allegiant allows me to go to a couple of destinations and return back to our home base in Sanford here that's where I'm based oh, wow. um, so the the cons of that lifestyle is that if you're flying for a traditional airline you will be gone four or five days. You will miss birthdays. Holidays become non-existent because you will fly on Christmas. You will fly on hol holidays. So That's true. I remember those days. Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> my father as well was uh, with U.S. Air for 33 years. Okay. So I, yeah. I flew with uh, him as a little boy. But those those cons of just your dad kind of being absent in your life, those are kind of uh, tough in, in the sense that you don't you don't see him. He kind of visits the house and yep. he's back gone. So. Yep. Uh, very, it's very uh, different lifestyle for kids growing up because I remember almost every Christmas my father would do Christmas two days late because he was always flying, which, which is good. But in terms of the pros, and if you don't mind me asking, you don't have to say exactly, but in terms of the financial of a, being a pilot and working two or three days a week, what does that look like? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's a great question, guys, and I, I think what you're going to see is that a pilot typically, at my level, pr pretty much works half the year, 15 days a month, six months out of the year. Wow. And with that, um, uh, a captain at my tenure, uh, you're looking at probably around $250,000 a year That's annually. Great. Um, your initial investment, it may seem expensive, but if you stick with it and uh, you make it to the major airlines, you're... You, the loans shouldn't be a problem at all. See, that's really what I wanted to get across to some of the kids out there, to some of the parents, because there's careers out there that you don't really pay much attention to when it comes to, oh, yeah, that looks like a pretty cool career and what it costs to get there. 
but what is the benefit in the long term? Pretty huge. Yeah, that's I pretty mean, huge. I mean, you can make some really good money working six months or seven months a year. Yeah. Uh, yes, is it? Can it be a stressful job? Um, if you're training, um, it's solid. If you have good training, um, really, people like to say it's a stressful job. I don't think it's a stressful job. I think it could be stressful in certain situations if you have engine robust, but you're so trained on how to mitigate those issues or take care of those problems that I, it's really um, it's, it's a dream job. See, that's that's really what I wanted to hear, and that's why I had Ryan in today to kind of give you a perspective of what it would be like to be a pilot or a captain in his case. Uh, he is the main man in the plane. He makes the decisions and he's put a lot of time and effort into getting to where he is, but it's paid off for him. And as we know, again, what we do here at the Maycumber team, we sell houses, we help people buy and sell houses, but I also like to bring in people with other perspectives and jobs. And Captain Ryan Wilkerson here, he, like he said, he's been flying for 30 years, so he's got a great background behind him. And if this helps you or it might help a family member, a child, get into a career that's a little bit different, that's what I'm looking to do. So I want to thank Mr. Wilkerson here, Captain Wilkerson uh, with Allegiant Airlines. And if you have any questions that you want me to pass on to him, please give me a call. Uh, you can reach me. Again, you can see me on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can get me on uh, alan.premiersir.com. Uh, you can reach me through the website, again, Lake Nona Voice, or my personal website, Alan Maycumber, on Facebook. You can reach me in multiple different directions, but if you have a question for Ryan that he didn't answer today, please get with me because we want you guys to spread the word about different careers that are happening in not only Lake Nona, but in Orlando as well. So thank you, Ryan, again. Oh, I appreciate you Thanks taking the time. Me. Thanks a lot, Adam. Taking the time to come down here and oh. uh, uh, share your wisdom with us. And we look forward to possibly doing this again maybe six months from now. And, oh, absolutely. You know, just kind of keep beating this end to people because I think it's a great career. Oh, it is. Uh, I, I mean, I was on my way. I had all my tickets and then met my wife in college, and she said she wasn't going to marry a pilot. <laughs> so I kind of changed my direction a little bit. Uh, I picked her over the job, and I said, sometimes when she gets mad, I said, you could be in Paris right now, but, <laughs> but you know, that's how I go. I think you made the right choice there. Alan. I did, yeah. I did. So I, I enjoy doing what I do and helping people do work with their homes and buy and sell. Absolutely. So thanks again for uh, showing up, Absolutely. and we will definitely do this again in oh, the future. Appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. it. Have you a great day. Care. See you guys. Bye.